Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's first? I'll get a non question. You and Jameis Winston have a lot of parallels coming in the league. Both baseball players, both first picks overall. Both started with the teams. You know, you had bigger picks than mine. You had a chance to watch him all this year. You're so good. You know, I thought he had a good year. I think obviously he you know, had a lot on his plate and was showing a lot of pressure being the number one pick in the draft and came in and did a nice job. I think he had a good start. It was a good year for him. So I think that uh, you know, it showed that uh, he can play in this league and continue to get better and better. So I was happy for Jameis that he, he did have a very good year for his first year, especially with the expectation level where it was. Well, I met with Peyton a couple nights ago, and we had a good talk. And, and uh, you know, and as I said, after the game, we're going to give him as much time as he needs, and he still needs some more time, so we're going to afford him that time. He's deserved that after 18 years in this league, but uh, to be able to, you know, give him that, afford him that time to, to, you know, figure out what he wants to do. So we'll continue to do that. That's where we left it. You know, we'll, uh, you know, stay in touch, and in the next week or two, we'll get back together. But. Uh, it's still in his court. We're still going to give him that time and let him enjoy the win. You know, it's only two and a half weeks since uh, you know since we won. So really want him to be able to enjoy that, give him that time. He needs to serve that, and we'll continue to respect that. Yeah, but we're, you know what, we're really not in a hurry. Everything's still real fluid. So, uh, you know, we know where Brock is. Brock knows what we have to offer. And, and uh, you know, we still have a great deal of, of uh, interest in Brock. We'd like to do something with Brock. So that road, we'll, we'll start down that those tracks and we'll, we'll start talking to Brock about, uh, you know, a new contract and see what we can do there. But with that in mind, also affording Peyton the time that he deserves. So uh, we're not in any rush. We, you know, like you said, there's 12 days. <coughs> We don't feel like we're in a rush there, so we'll continue to get paid in that time and continue to work with Brock and try to get something done with Brock. With Vaughn, we're, you know what, we're, uh, we're in discussions with Vaughn. Um, so um, we've exchanged some offers and, and uh, uh, we'll continue to be able to meet with his representative, representatives. And, and uh, uh, But we feel good about it, obviously, with, uh, you know, the career he's had already and, and uh, the way that he played this year, that uh, you know, we we're very hopeful that we're going to be able to get something done. Don't know. Again, we don't know, but uh, we're always hopeful that if uh, we can get together, that we'd like to do that. John, how much does Peyton's decision affect not just Brock, but the rest of, the, of your potential agents? Well, we don't. I don't tie those together. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. But I think that. Uh, with the discussions that we have going right now, we're not affected by Peyton's decision. So we'll continue to uh, to work with the contracts that we have, with the players that we have, and that are not, you know Malik Jackson as well as Vaughn, and, and continue to work on that. So uh, we're not tying that in. Uh, again, we're going to let Peyton have his time. John, what is your evaluation so far? You know, Cody made. Great strides this year. He kept getting better and better, and he really, uh, you know, it's near the end of the year. Uh, made some good catches for us offensively, uh, but really was a great contributor on the special teams. He's a guy with a great size and speed, can run, he's tough, and uh, he just gained some confidence. And so we really have high expectations for Cody. I think he's going to continue to get better. And, and uh, with a year under his belt now with the system, I feel like he's just going to continue to get better and better. So we're, we're excited about Cody. John, when it comes to As far as development, well, I mean, I think, uh, you know, with Brock, and when, when Brock came out of, you know, college, he's a guy that, uh, you know, was in shotgun a lot, but spent a little time underneath. I think what we're seeing is we're seeing quarterbacks coming out of college that are in shotgun a lot more than, than uh, we were in my day coming out, and, and even really 10 years ago. Um, you know, guys are not spending much time underneath the center, and I think, uh, you know, that's the biggest adjustment uh, for young guys coming out is those kids that have not been underneath the center to be able to come out and uh, go through the drops, the reads, the progression coming out from underneath the center is the development side that we need that the young kids have to have coming out now because you're going to be underneath the center in the NFL. And so 
not only the rhythm side of it, but also the vision side of it. You know, there's a, you know, as far as what you can see coming out from underneath the center is different than being in shotgun. You can see better in shotgun, and you have to get used to being able to have some of your vision vision not be as great coming out from underneath the center. So those are the type of things that uh, the young guys are working on coming out. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, the sample size that we got from Brock, uh, we were excited about what we saw. And I think when you look at the seven games that he started, the way that he played, um, he, you know, he made some good strides and showed us that, uh, you know, you never know what a quarterback can do until he gets in there and gets underneath the gun. And I think that he proved a lot to us. He's a guy that, uh, you know, he's a tough guy. He's a guy that will stand in there. He can make all the throws. And, um, you know, obviously you always like to have a little bit more consistency, but that's what young guys, young guys continue to get better and better. And usually it's their consistency that gets better. So um, I was really excited with the way Brock played. We wouldn't been we wouldn't have been world champs without Brock either. We needed both quarterbacks to play like they played and, and it allowed us to be world champions. And so um, I was excited about where Brock is and, and uh, his process. Well, I mean Peyton is the same old Peyton that he was. I mean I think he's you know 18 years into it, and again it's going to come down to what Peyton wants to do, right? And if he wants to go through that grind and wants to make that again. So we'll have those discussions and, uh, you know, Peyton again led us to a world championship and, you know, showed you the championship quarterback that he was, that he is. Well, obviously that's an area we got to get better. And, uh, you know, we'll continue. That's going to be a, a focal point for us this year and, and, and uh, uh, when we, as we go into free agency as well as the draft. And so that will be a focal point. You know, Ty, I'll come back. We think he's going to come back and be healthy and he'll be fine. Uh, Ryan, I'll sit down and talk to. You know, we haven't had a chance to really spend any time doing that. And so once we get through this process, get through the combine, then we'll get back and, and sit down. And I'll, and I'll talk to all those guys. I'm going to talk to DeMarcus and, you know, time that we haven't had to, up to this point that I'll be able to spend time with them. So, you know, uh, Ryan will be one of those guys we'll sit down and talk to. And, and uh, you know, everything, we, we have a lot of different plans and a lot of different situations. And so it's, it's you know, we'll, we'll, as close as we get to the deadline and as far as the new league year, then, you know, we'll start molding that and see how everything takes shape. I haven't talked to Brock yet. So I would have an idea. I would think that that's probably something that Brock would want to know. And so uh, at this point in time, we'll, we'll talk to Brock, but I'm not going to be able to give him that answer. John, there's been a lot of talk about Monday's quarterback prospects. Do you know what your hand size was? And uh, how do you know, now that you're a general manager, do you look at hand size when you're evaluating quarterbacks? Well, as a, as a player, you never look at that. As a GM, you always look at that, right? I mean, that's the way of the world. But uh, actually, I did. Do, I measured my hand probably three months ago to kind of figure out what we were looking at, so so I could compare. Uh, I think it was like ten and an eighth is what it was. It was actually big. Now I don't even know if that's right, but um, so I could just use that so I could compare. So the other, you know, but you know, hand size I think is important. The only time hand size is important is if you know you get you get a bad day. You know, if you get a wet day or a sloppy day, that's that's when uh, you know hand size really matters because the balls are you know in such good shape when you get them and so uh, you know that's really to me when I look at hand size on the quarterback you know to me it's you know it's how well can you throw a wet ball and usually the bigger your hand is the bigger it easier the easier it is to, to throw it on in, in tougher conditions Well, uh, no, I think the key thing is we want to score more points this year, and I think, uh, uh, you know, that's always the goal. But, uh, no, I think, you know, Gary and the staff, they, you know, they've done a great job of, of adapting to the people that we have. And, and so our goal is to, uh, to get better on that side, get better on the offensive line, um, and, uh, you know, be able to you know, put some more points on the board. So we're always trying to improve on that. And, and philosophy-wise, um, you know, Gary's had the same philosophy for a long time. And they go through the whole staff, they go through during the offseason, look at different things that we didn't do very well and look at things that we did do well and try to improve those things. So, uh, you know, that's one thing that's what makes Gary a, a coach that he is, a great coach that he is, because they're always adjusting in offseasons to try to get better.
I, I, and I would, I did, we're going to talk about Peyton, but here's what I'm going to tell you about Peyton. We're going to give Peyton the time that Peyton deserves because of 18 years, and he deserves that. And I don't mean to leave it out there, but I'm going to, you know, Peyton and I have talked, and we said, you know what, we'll get back together in a week to 10 days, see where you are, and then we'll go from there. So, you know, I don't have anything else to say, you know, on Peyton other than the fact that we're going to respect the fact that, uh, you know, we're going to give him some time and let him enjoy it. How do you well, that's why we're going to give Peyton the time to think about it, do what he wants to do, and, and uh, then we'll go from there. So, um, I know we could go back and forth, and but there is not an answer there yet. So, uh, I can't give you one. If Peyton says he wants to keep playing, does that put you in a good spot? <laughs> Any other questions? John, you said the offense, if you want to score more points this year, and Coach Cooper. Well, that's always the goal. I mean, I, you know, I mean, that's always the goal. Obviously, we had a, the right combination this year because we, we obtained the ultimate goal. And so, however, that combination that works out, scoring more points or stopping people from scoring. So, I mean, it was, uh, you know, a, a great year, the combination that we had. Uh, worked and so that's what we're always working for now if we can still play the same type of defense We played last year and get better on offense that makes us even even better. So that's that's what our goal is Which position group you're talking about the running, back. running back well, I mean CJ had a good year, you know and, and uh, uh, You know Ronnie Hillman will be a free agent and so we'll see what happens with Ronnie and, and Jawan Thompson has a good year and, and uh, did a nice job for us on, on special teams. And so uh, we'll continue to try to get better there. That's why we're in free agency now. And we'll look at that position group in free agency as well as the draft and see if we can, we can get better in that area. All right. All right. And an L drop by the